What's up, Saints fans? We have a challenge going on at Chat Sports this week, and it's around comments because on our Titans YouTube channel, which is way smaller than our Saints one, by the way, someone commented 53 separate times. They sent a comment. They sent another comment. They sent another comment. They did that 53 different times, which was a company record. So I'm challenging you guys, who dat nation, is anyone out there going to top it? Will someone type 54 times? Just type who dat? 54 times. Got to be separate comments, though. That is the key to winning this challenge. Can we set a record here on Saints Now and at Chat Sports? That's my challenge to you on today's show. It's mailbag time here on Saints Now by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham. I hope you guys have had a great week, and I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend. Let's get into your questions, starting with Steve-O. He uses the hashtag Saints. I saw that Daryl Williams was visiting New Orleans this week. Obviously, he is from NOLA, but could he sign with the Saints? I think he might. I think he could, and I think it would actually be a pretty darn good signing, Steve-O. I liked what Daryl Williams did last year. Now, he only averaged 3.9 yards per carry. He's not a guy that's going to give you four and a half, five yards. He'll be in that four yards per carry range, but he'll get some of the tough yards. He's a bruising type of runner. What he added to his game this past season in Kansas City was the ability to catch the football. 47 catches, 452 yards, and a couple of touchdowns. Uh, go watch his touchdown catch against the Raiders last year. If you Google uh, or search on YouTube, Daryl Williams' touchdown catch versus Raiders, it'll pop up. Unbelievable. Absolutely mossed uh, Jonathan Abram. So he added that to his game. He's not, you know, a Le'Veon Bell catching the football, but he can do it all at the running back position. I think if you sign him right now, he'd be your second best running back. I think he's better than Mark Ingram at this point. Uh, and if Alvin Kamara ends up missing time uh, due to that uh, incident in Vegas during the Pro Bowl, then you're going to need another back, in my opinion. I like Daryl Williams. Had over 1,000 all-purpose yards last year. Really nice season for him. Quite frankly, the fact that he remains unsigned, I think, is pretty surprising. Do you think... The Saints should add another running back. Type Y for yes, type in for no. What do you guys think down in the comments section? Tristan Garcia, could the Saints trade away Cesar Ruiz or Traquan Smith? I like Smith as a player, but at the end of the day, it's a business. I think it's possible that one or two of these guys uh, could get moved. I'm here for the Ruiz trade talks. He hasn't exactly lived up to the billing early on in his career in New Orleans. Traquan Smith, kind of the same deal, right? He's, you know, we've been waiting for him to break out for a while now, and he's just been okay. Look, if he's your number four receiver, I don't think that's a big deal, uh, but he's clearly going to be behind Landry Olave and Michael Thomas, so the expectations aren't that high at this point in time. You look at the depth chart at wide receiver, your big three is Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, Jarvis Landry in the slot. Traquan Smith is sitting there, but he's really your fourth receiver with Landry manning the slot. Um, and look, he can he's fine in that role. He can be wide receiver four, but it's not like uh, you know keeping him is a necessity. If you want to move him, save a little money, and uh, get another piece or a late draft pick, you could certainly go that route. Ruiz, kind of the same deal. Uh, he's been just okay. Should the Saints trade away Traquan Smith? What do you guys think? One for yes, two for no. Should New Orleans trade away Traquan Smith? Go ahead and get your votes in. We got Zach next up with a question here on our mailbag. What does the Saints cap space look like after signing Jarvis Landry and Ty Ron Matthew? Uh, Saints still have about 10 million in cap, just under uh, or at just around 9.6 million as they're still under the cap room. That's why you could go and sign a Daryl Williams, go and sign a couple other players. We know the Saints; they manipulate the cap. They know what they're doing. Uh, they move money down the road, and the cap goes up, so it's not as big of a punishment down the road as you would think. Uh, Mickey Loomis, he's great at this stuff. Uh, I mean, they were $70 million over the cap to start this offseason. Uh, the entire draft class will make up over $8 million. You, You're able to get Tyre Matthew. His cap hits only $3.4 million. Jarvis Landry's only $3 million. Uh, I mean, they, they just know how to do this stuff. Like, they're really, really good at it. And uh, I don't understand why other teams can't figure it out. But the Saints always remain competitive because they know how to manipulate the cap. They know how to move money around. They know how to clear up cap. Uh, they're just they're good at it. They structure contracts in a smart way, and that's continued this off season. That's why the Saints could still go out and make a move. They could go add an impact player or two 
in free agency. I don't know if a major move would still be on the table, but a Daryl Williams, a guy who would give you real snaps, I think something like that could very much be on the table. Next up is Coach Nally. Is there any way the Saints could pull off signing OBJ? Is there any way? Yeah, sure, there's always a way. Uh, maybe the thought process here would be, okay, he's going to miss probably at least half the season. You bring him on board for a playoff push. You know, if everyone's healthy still at that point in the season, okay, you figure out where exactly he fits into the depth chart. But I thought he played well last year for the Rams, including the playoffs, had seven touchdowns in 12 games. Uh, he was really good in the NFC Championship game before obviously tearing his ACL in the Super Bowl. Unclear exactly when he'll return, but like Daryl Williams, like Honey Badger, like Jarvis Landry, the LSU connection is there. Uh, you know, Sports Illustrated linked this uh, possibility, so it's not like it hasn't floated around the internet. Uh, I don't know if you need another receiver, but if he's going to miss a lot of time anyway and you just kind of want to have an extra bullet in the chamber for later in the season, I don't think that's, you know, the worst thing ever. You know, maybe you someone gets injured or maybe Chris Olave isn't, you know, quite ready as a rookie. You just never know how these things are going to play out. I think they'll monitor OBJ. I don't think they would sign him at this point in time, though. Would you go out and sign OBJ? Type S for sign, type P for pass. I'd probably hold off for now. I'll keep an eye on the situation for the next couple of months. We got Who Dat Willie with the question, will the Saints re-sign Quan Alexander? He is the only missing piece. That's the type of move you could still do. Uh, like I said, there's still money available to go make a move or two if you want to. Sign Daryl Williams, sign Quali Alexander. That's right. I think, uh, you know, that could be a possibility. Now, DeMarco Jackson could be his replacement as well. Uh, but if the Saints want to go bring Quan back, uh, they can absolutely do that. I don't think he's going to cost a ton of money. I think you could get him for a few million uh, on a one-year deal and everybody would be happy at the end of the day. Uh, I would absolutely explore this if I was Mickey Loomis in New Orleans, uh, but we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Type KA in the chat if you want the Saints to re-sign Quan Alexander. I'm open to it. I think a lot of you Saints fans are as well. Uh, let me know if you want Quan Alexander back. If you do, go ahead and type KA. All right, Saints fans, that's going to do it for today's mailbag. If you want to get on our next mailbag, two ways to do it. Subscribe to the channel and also use hashtag Saints in the comments. Ask away with all of your questions. Hashtag Saints down below. And remember, we're trying to set a comments record here on the channel. Just start commenting stuff. Doesn't matter what you say. Uh, let's just... Uh, beat that Titans video that had one person comment 53 separate times. I know one of you guys out there has it in you. We'll see you next time here on Saints Now.